This is not a joke. SpaceX is preparing to send a luxury hotel room into orbit next year. Designed by Vast Space, this room is actually a modern space station module called Haven 1. It has just completed a series of rigorous NASA standard tests and is now entering the final stage of assembly. And this marks the very first step toward eventually replacing the ISS, paving the way for a brand new space station, bigger, more advanced, and more ambitious than ever. Now, let's dive into the full story in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The ISS, a symbol of international cooperation and one of humanity's greatest technological achievements, has been floating in space for nearly three decades. It should have ended in 2016, just 15 years after its main assembly. But there's only one reason it's still alive today. China. They have been secretly developing their own space station for a long time. And in 2021, it launched the first module of Tiangong, a bold declaration to break the world's monopoly on space stations. This forced NASA and its partners to extend the ISS's lifetime, partly to buy more time for science, partly to give commercial companies a chance to build the next generation of space stations, and above all, to counter China's ambition to dominate space. Since then, several companies have joined NASA's program called Commercial Low Earth Orbit Destinations, or CLD. But only four were awarded NASA contracts, Axiom Space, Blue Origin, Northrop Grumman, and Voyager Space. Each received between $120 and $160 million under Phase I funding. Among them, Axiom's project, the Axiom Station, stands out as both the most feasible and the fastest moving. Why? Because its modules are designed to be launched and attached directly to the ISS. Later, those modules will detach and become an independent space station. Progress has been rapid, but due to several reasons, the first modules won't dock with the ISS until at least 2027, and separation into a fully independent station may not happen until 2028, or even 2030. And yet, Vast Space, a company that wasn't even part of NASA's CLD Phase 1, and didn't receive a single cent of those $100 million contracts, has managed to outpace even Axiom in both progress and speed. Their station, called Haven 1, may only be a prototype module, but it has stunned many with its design, its utilities, its deployment plan, essentially, with everything about it. On September 27th, Vast proudly shared an update on Haven 1 via X, announcing, Haven demo build and test are complete, and it is now undergoing final integration for launch. Meanwhile, we're moving toward critical systems testing and continuing to build momentum on Haven 1 flight hardware. Alongside the post was a video revealing the module's progress. Even from the unfinished outer structure, the craftsmanship already looks incredibly precise, down to the smallest detail. The footage also showcased key components, including its power systems, batteries, flight computer, and even the thrusters. This stage is considered mid-manufacturing to early integration and testing, coming after major milestones like qualification testing, but before full assembly. Most impressively, VAST remains on track for a launch no earlier than May 2026, a full year ahead of Axiom Station. But from now until liftoff, there's still a long checklist to get through. First, they need to wrap up pressure testing and the remaining structural trials by the end of this year, proving the module can withstand vacuum, pressure, and heavy loads. Then comes critical systems testing between late 2025 and early 2026, covering everything from life support and thermal control to propulsion provided by impulse space and power systems, including solar arrays. Some components, like the payload power module, have already been tested, but the real challenge is integrating them all together. Next, in early 2026, VAST will finish manufacturing and integrating the rest of the hardware, the Haven 1 lab module capable of supporting up to 10 payloads, Starlink connectivity, and RF and video systems from partners AnySignal and TRL-11. At this stage, the whole module must pass vibration and thermal testing at full scale. The final stretch in mid-2026 will bring qualification and environmental trials, acoustic testing to simulate launch noise, electromagnetic compatibility checks, and orbital simulations. Only after that will Haven 1 be integrated with its Falcon 9 launcher, 
go through joint checks with SpaceX, and secure safety certification from NASA and the FAA. And by April or May 2026, the module will enter pre-launch prep, fueling, final checks, and the countdown to VAST-1, the first crewed mission with four astronauts flying aboard Crew Dragon, targeted for late June 2026. If VASTIC keeps hitting these milestones on time, they're basically lining themselves up for a massive payday in NASA's CLD Phase 2. See, Phase 1 was just about early design studies. But Phase 2? That's the real deal. All about certification and buying services from commercial stations to take over once the ISS retires after 2030. NASA's expected to throw a lot more money on the table, making sure at least two or three companies get picked. And if we're talking about a $1.5 billion pot split between just a handful of winners, VAST could be looking at 300 to 600 million, maybe even more if NASA decides to reward them for proving themselves with VAST-1. And don't forget, they're already teaming up with SpaceX to launch Haven-1, so you can bet that kind of partnership could give them an extra edge when it comes to NASA's favor. The single module design of Haven-1 is really just a proof of concept. Simple, but powerful. At first glance, many people compare its interior to an Apple store. And that's no coincidence. Vast's interior designer, Peter Russell Clark, is a veteran who spent nearly two decades at Apple. His touch gives the module the feel of a true luxury hotel suite in orbit. Bright, comfortable, and a world apart from the cluttered utilitarian look of today's ISS modules. Thanks to its robust design, Haven 1 can remain in orbit for several months, up to two years, supporting as many as four crewed missions, each lasting about 30 days, with a crew of four astronauts. What makes it special is the human-centered design. Inside, there's a small science lab capable of supporting microgravity research and even early manufacturing opportunities, things like semiconductors. That means Haven 1 isn't just for government missions, but also for private customers, giving VAST the hands-on experience they need before tackling the much bigger challenge, building a true successor to the ISS if they win NASA's competition. As CEO Max Hayat put it, our number one priority is to become a company that actually owns a space station, a company with a station in orbit that has flown people there, kept them for a while, and brought them safely back to Earth. That's really the race we're in. Digging deeper into the layout, Haven 1 measures 4.4 meters in diameter, or 14.7 feet, and offers about 45 cubic meters of habitable volume, roughly the size of a single-deck bus. That's just about one-eighth of the ISS, which boasts 388 cubic meters. The station will ride to orbit aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9, with its first crew following a few months later aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Inside, Astronauts will find a wide 1.2-meter, or 4-foot dome window, a fold-out communal table, private sleeping quarters for each crew member, and even high-speed internet powered by Starlink. As Hayat explains, it's not designed to be a luxury hotel, but we believe that in any environment, if you can feel more comfortable, rest better, and communicate more easily, you'll work more effectively. Pretty impressive, right? But here's the catch. Haven 1 is really just a demo. The true replacement for the ISS will be Haven 2, and that's on a whole different level. Think of everything you just heard about Haven 1, and then imagine it scaled up across the board. Unlike the single module Haven 1, Haven 2 is designed as a modular, expandable station, much like the ISS. Construction is slated to begin in 2028, with completion by 2032. At its heart will be the Haven Core, a massive 7-meter-wide central module offering 70 cubic meters of living space, launched on SpaceX's Starship. Surrounding it, eight identical modules, each around 3.8 to 4.4 meters wide and 16 meters long, will ride aboard Falcon Heavy rockets. When fully assembled, Haven 2 will provide an incredible 1,160 cubic meters of pressurized volume. That's more than the ISS's 932 cubic meters and nearly four times the size of China's Tiangong Station, which sits at just 340. Each module links through dual docking ports, making it easy for spacecraft like Crew Dragon to pull up. On top of that, the design incorporates advanced shielding against micrometeoroids and thermal extremes, 
giving astronauts both safety and comfort. And that's just the structure. Where Haven 2 really raises the bar is in its life support technology. Using SpaceX's recycled CO2 scrubbers, the crew could remain on orbit for up to 720 days with minimal resupply thanks to highly efficient water and oxygen recycling. Its solar arrays start at 20 kilowatts on the first module and expand to a staggering 86 kilowatts when fully assembled compared to just 9.8 on Haven 1. Of that, up to 40 kilowatts will be dedicated to powering external experiments, opening the door for cutting-edge science. The station will also feature a state-of-the-art robotic arm for maintenance, a dedicated airlock for spacewalks, and high-speed Starlink connectivity to keep data flowing 24-7. Nearly all systems are U.S.-built, with key contributions from partners like SpaceX and AnySignal, ensuring durability, efficiency, and cost control. And then there's the interior. Inspired by Apple's minimalist design, Vast is using flame-resistant maple finishes, and even a panoramic 360-degree cupola window. It won't just be a research platform. It's also paving the way for space tourism, a place where astronauts and, one day, paying visitors can experience life in orbit like never before. So, here's a quick question. What if you suddenly won a ticket to visit Haven 2 someday in the future? Would you go? Drop your answer in the comments. Now, let's take a look at Axiom's actual progress to see just how far they are behind VAST. A few weeks ago, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, officially granted a favorable payload determination for Axiom's first module, the Payload, Power, and Thermal module. Posting on social media, Axiom Space celebrated, the Federal Aviation Administration has officially granted a favorable payload determination for our first Axiom station module. Now, all Axiom needs to do is finish the module and prepare it for launch. The original plan was to connect it to the ISS for several years, leveraging the station's support during assembly. With these developments, the question arises, what's the purpose if Axiom intends to detach after attaching just a single module? On Axiom's website, they explain, the payload power thermal module berths to the International Space Station and facilitates the transfer of critical infrastructure and payloads. In other words, with the ISS expected to retire not long after, we can see that valuable hardware will be transferred from the station to Axiom's module. The new module will also have significantly more storage capacity than the original HAB-1, meaning there's more room for equipment being moved from the ISS. Previously, NASA awarded Axiom a firm fixed price, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract with a maximum potential value, including options, of $140 million. Axiom's contract covers a long-term order with a base phase and an option. It's been a while, and the company is still working on its first module. Looking ahead, there will be five modules in total. After the first payload, power, and thermal module comes HAB1 which will attach once the first module detaches from the ISS. HAB-1 offers four crew living quarters and supports research and manufacturing. Next is an airlock module for spacewalks, followed by HAB-2, adding more living space for the crew. And finally comes the research and manufacturing module, which includes space for science and a large observation deck. Despite delays, progress is ongoing. Earlier this year, Axiom successfully completed its first mission simulation for the payload, power, and thermal module. 